welcome to the uh, second part of lecture 4 uh, on graph theory. Uh, so, now uh, we will learn graph isomorphism. Um, sometime two graphs they may look different, but they are actually the same graph. Okay. So, uh, then those two graphs or several graphs uh, are said to be equivalent. Okay. So, formally we will learn what is graph isomorphism. Uh, isomorphic graphs. Okay. Let me give, let me start with uh, an example. So, this is one graph. Uh, let me call the vertices A, B, C, D and I draw another graph with the same number of vertices and the same number of edges of course and uh, this is the other graph and I label the vertices by 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, these two graphs uh, they may look different, but they are basically the same graph. Uh, this is very uh, easy to observe because this graph is very small here. Um, let me give the formal definition of uh, graph isomorphism. Um, let G be E and G prime b prime a prime b two graphs we say g, g and g prime are isomorphic or notation is G isomorphic to G prime if there exists a bijection uh, from the vertex set of graph G to the vertex set of graph G prime with this condition uh, that if u v is an edge in the graph G, this is an edge in the graph G if and only if f u f v is an edge in the graph G prime. For all uv belongs to v and such a map f is called isomorphism. Okay. Now, if I consider this example here, what is that map? I say that these two graphs are isomorphic and this is uh, visually also it is very uh, easy to uh, see that. Uh, now, if I map this one, say if I map the vertex A to 1, vertex B I am giving the map here A for B, uh, B maps to 2, A for C, C maps to 4 and A for D that means D maps to 
3 sorry uh, this is this is c this is d uh, otherwise i have to change here uh, okay uh, now i have to see that whether the adjacency uh, is preserved uh, now a and b they are adjacent in g so this is in in e so 1 2 is also a, is adjacent in g prime so 1 2 is an edge in g prime similarly ac is an edge in the graph g so uh, a c 1 4 is an edge in graph g prime and similarly let me just complete this one uh, b d is an edge in e so 2 3 is an edge is in graph g prime and c d is an edge in e so c d 3 4 is an edge in e prime so all the adjacency relations uh, are preserved so this map is an isomorphism that is why uh, let me call this as uh, g and g prime. So, g and g prime are isomorphic. So, this is one example. Let me give another example of suppose this is my first graph. g 1 and this is a complete bipartite graph. So, this is nothing but g 1 is nothing but k 3 3. I draw another graph with 6 vertices again. Okay. You can see that these two uh, graphs are having the same number of vertices, same number of edges, everything uh, same uh, G 2. Now, the question is uh, whether, uh, whether G 1 and, and G 2 are isomorphic. So, this is the question. Uh, let me label them u v w x y z and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, uh, this is not so easy to uh, uh, realize that whether these two graphs are isomorphic or not, but actually they are isomorphic. Uh, if you can see that this is also the G 2 is also a bipartite graph and G 2 is in fact K 3 3. So, what you have to do is that you have to uh, see, see 1, 3 and 5 these 3 vertices are non adjacent. So, they will go to one part and then 2, 4, 6 that will go to the other part and then you will uh, see that this graph is actually k 3 3 and uh, formally here is the uh, isomorphism 
f of u of is 1 f of v is equal to 3 that means 1 3 and 5 I am keeping in one side of, uh, of a bipartite graph and uh, f of x is equal to 2 f of y is equal to 4 and f of z is equal to 6. Okay. So, next uh, we learn few conditions uh, uh, if if two graphs are isomorphic then they have the same number of vertices, they have the same number of edges, they have the same number of components, they have the same degree sequence. Uh, you do not know what is degree sequence, I just explained this one. Uh, they have the same diameter and the same length of the longest path. You can see that all these things are true uh, in G 1, G 2 in, in my previous example. Um, if two graphs differ in any of these respects, they are not isomorphic. However, this is important, uh, you know, they have to be the same in all this respect. Uh, this is a necessary condition, but uh, this is not enough. However, having all these values in common does not imply that two graphs are isomorphic. Okay. So, now to explain that uh, even if all these conditions are satisfied, uh, all these values uh, are in the same and that does not imply that the graphs are isomorphic. Uh, let me take uh, another uh, example and that is uh, uh, G 3, maybe I will just go back to the uh, previous slide. Okay. Uh, let me continue here. So, this was my uh, G 1, I will just redraw it quickly. So, 
So, this is my G 1 and the G 2 was this is a beautiful example um, to explain isomorphism. This is G 2. Let me consider another graph G 3 and uh, here is the graph. this is my G 3. Now, the question is whether G 3 is, uh, we know that G 1 and G 2 are isomorphic. Uh, the question is whether G 3 is isomorphic to G 1 or G 2, the same thing. Uh, if I look at all these conditions here, uh, G 3 has 6 vertices and this graph G 1 or G 2, they are also having 6 vertices same number of vertices equal to 6. They have the same number of edges 9. This graph G 3 has 9 edges, G 1 has 9 edges. They have same number of components, uh, G 1 has 1 component, G 3 is also having 1 component. Now, the degree sequence, I said that uh, degree sequence probably you do not know. The degree sequence is simple, just uh, you write down the degree of all the vertices. So, here the degree of every vertex is thin 3. So, uh, the degree sequence is this one and you can see that the degree sequence for this graph is also, this is a 3 regular graph. So, the degree sequence is 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay, six vertices. That's why it's a sequence of threes. So the degree sequence is also the same. Uh, the diameter of this graph is two, and uh, you can check that the diameter of this graph is also two, uh, because you compute the distance between any two non-adjacent vertices. For example, this and this, they are non-adjacent. The distance is um, two this and this, the distance, distance is 2. Length of the longest path, you can check that the length of the longest path between two non-adjacent vertices, uh, two vertices basically, it probably 6 you can uh, check and this is true here also. Now, the question is everything is same, but that does not imply that, that two graphs are isomorphic. Okay. So, uh, what is uh, the difference between G 1 and G 2? You need to look at the other factors also like uh, if, if two graphs are isomorphic. and one of them contains a cycle of particular length particular length, then the same must be true of the other graph. Okay. So, here is the difference. Uh, if two graphs are isomorphic and one of them contains a cycle of particular length. So, G 3 has a cycle of length 3. Uh, 
So, this is a cycle of length 3, but as we have we, as we have learned that G 1 this is a bipartite graph. So, a graph is bipartite if and only if it does not have any odd cycles. So, G 1 since it is a bipartite we do not need to check uh, and it is obvious that G 1 is not having any uh, odd cycles where G 3 has an odd cycle. Okay. So, that is the reason that G 1 G 1 and G 3 they are not isomorphic. Okay. So, this is one way of checking um, sort of uh, identifying that uh, or proving that uh, two graphs are uh, not isomorphic. Um, there is another theorem I will state now that uh, G and G prime are isomorphic if and only if their complements complements are isomorphic. Okay. So, this is also uh, a theorem which is uh, helpful sometime to prove that two graphs are isomorphic or not isomorphic. Now, G 1 and G 3 will be isomorphic uh, if and only if their complements are isomorphic. I am trying to prove the same uh, result that G 1 and G 3 are not isomorphic in a different way. So, what I will do is that I will compute G 1 complement. Uh, so, G 1 complement is this one, it is not difficult to uh, observe that this is G 1 complement. So, my G 1 is this K 3 3 and G 3 complement is this graph of you can verify that well um, this is adjacent to this this is adjacent to this one okay this one is adjacent to this this one is adjacent to this now these two vertices are adjacent in G complement and uh, these two vertices are also adjacent in G complement. Uh, now, you can see that G 1 complement consists of two disjoint three cycles and G 3 complement is a cycle of length of length 6. So, or it is a 6 cycle basically, 3 cycle means cycle of length 3. So, we can see that uh, G 1 uh, complement, uh, if I now look at this conditions, uh, G 1 complement is having 2 components, whereas G 3 complement is having only 1 component. So, that is why G 1 complement and G 3 complement, G 1 complement and G 3 complement are not isomorphic and since they are not isomorphic, 
G 1 is also not isomorphic with G 3 because of this theorem and the other way to uh, claim that they are not is isomorphic because G 1 complement has a 3 cycle uh, whereas G 3 complement has a 6 cycle. Uh, so, that is also you do not have a 6 cycle in G 1 complement. So, I will just stop with uh, one uh, problem you just uh, this is an exercise uh, so that these two graphs are not isomorphic. So, the first graph is Five vertices here, then one vertex here, one, two, three, four, five, and one vertex here. So, this is my G1 and this is my G2. Uh, see, they look very similar, um, but they are not equivalent basically, uh, and uh, you uh, try to uh, prove formally that uh, these two graphs G 1 and G 2 are uh, not isomorphic. So, uh, in lecture 4 we have learned uh, uh, how to compute diameter of a graph and uh, also we have learned uh, uh, some techniques uh, to verify whether two given graphs are isomorphic or not. Um, that is all for today. Thank you very much.